All right, guys, are we about uh, ready to get to it? Awesome. Well, thanks a lot uh, for uh, coming out at uh, 10 o'clock for a talk with such a silly title. Really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Rob Spector. I'm a lead developer evangelist for a company called Twilio. Uh, we're based in San Francisco, but I live and work in the greatest city in the world, which we all know is New York. <laughs> uh, I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, though, it's really great to be uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Um, I've had the uh, distinct pleasure of kind of watching this ecosystem grow over the course of the past year. And events like uh, Philly Emerging Tech, uh, I think, showcase the magical things that are going on in the tech ecosystem here in Philly. Um, and I always get a warm welcome. Uh, so warm, in fact, uh, while I was stumbling home uh, from the bar last night, uh, a uh, 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 sketchy looking gentleman shoved a gun in my face and uh, told me uh, your money or your life which I'm from New York so that's I, I thought the fact that he gave me an option was pretty courteous <laughs> uh, but he shoves the gun in my face and says your money or your life I'm like well you know I, I can't help you pal I, I don't know what you're looking for he's like your money or your life and I'm like listen pal I work for a startup I have no money and I have no life <laughs> but no it's uh, really good to be here and uh, stoked to be talking in uh, Philadelphia about the cloud power karaoke machine. But first, brothers and sisters, let us speak of the cloud. <laughs> so the cloud is a uh, uh, wonderful uh, little buzzword that has been changing our lives in a dramatic way over the course of the past five years. And it's this strange combination of when you take virtualization, API access, and utility pricing and jam them together into something that has transformed the way that we build web applications and indeed the way that we build internet businesses. Or to put it in a way that's a little less jargony, we took the waistbands of the Midwest, jammed them into uh, alt-rock records from the mid-90s, and uh, tacked on the Metro PCS business model to produce something that is fundamentally transformative. Now, how transformative, how, how big of a deal is it? Well, I think you see the transformational power of the cloud, more, most specifically in the startup world, with the rapid pace that we're seeing huge businesses get built. You guys already know the examples. Uh, Foursquare, uh, amazing New York uh, startup, uh, was originally a company called Dodgeball. Uh, Dodgeball um, got sold uh, to Google. Google killed the project, so the founders of Dodgeball just did it again. <laughs> they hit control C, control V on the entire product, but because they could build it on the cloud this time around, it took a significantly less amount of time to get a significantly more amount of users. You see the same thing with an outfit called GroupMe. A couple hippies uh, decided that they wanted to be able to keep track of their friends when they went to Bonnaroo. So they made an uh, application in a weekend at TechCrunch Disrupt, and 17 months later sold it to Skype for a serious chunk of change. 17 months later, they went from a prototype to a business that was acquired uh, by Skype, whose parent company is Microsoft. And of course, you may have heard something earlier in the week about a uh, company <laughs> called uh, Instagram. Uh, so obviously we're seeing these businesses uh, uh, growing in a, in a manner that is unprecedented in the human experience. But, you know, all that stuff is cool. I mean, like, I guess a billion dollars is cool. Some people say that it's cool. But the thing that I want to know is, can we do something even more cool with, uh, uh, with the cloud? Now, my mother has a fascinating benchmark for all the technology that her enthusiastic son brings to her attention. And that is, can it do karaoke? <laughs> so, what I'd like to explore with all of you is if we can take this wonderful transformor, transmor, bar, bar uh, uh technology called the cloud and apply it uh, to uh, the uh, uh, single most uh, riveting activity in the human experience, which is, of course, uh, karaoke. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a karaoke machine right in front of you uh, using nothing but cloud uh, technologies. The two technologies that we're going to use, uh, one is an outfit called Heroku. Are any Heroku peeps in the crowd right now? Yeah, people that work at Heroku. No one? How about people that use Heroku? Oh, 
of nice. So you guys uh, know what we're talking about. It's an amazing uh, platform as a service, makes it super simple, ridiculously simple to uh, deploy uh, web applications uh, to the cloud. Uh, they have an interface that is uh, so stinking elegant and uh, easy to use uh, that it's uh, much better described uh, on their website. Uh, they take this whole idea of uh, uh, cloud hosts and uh, abstract it with this concept of a dyno, which makes it uh, incredibly easy for you to deploy your application. So instead of provisioning a host and then putting Chef on it and then uh, getting all the uh, packages up to date, Heroku takes all that uh, uh, care of that for you. All you do is get pushed to a Heroku branch and it magically makes your web application work. It's pretty neat. Uh, the other techn cloud technology we'll uh, use is one that's near and dear to my heart because it pays my rent. Um, it's a uh, service called Twilio, which makes it really easy for you to send and receive text messages and make and receive phone calls directly within uh, your web application. The way that all this stuff is going to work is uh, we're going to uh, purchase a Twilio phone number. It sits in the Twilio cloud. Uh, somebody makes a call to the Twilio application. Twilio makes a request to uh, the web application that we're going to build, which is going to be sitting on Heroku. Uh, that web application responds with some very simple XML and then some magical stuff happens. So into the sermon. So let's uh, quit with the uh, yakking and get with the hacking. Who would like to sing karaoke this morning? Think we had a volunteer earlier. <laughs> All right, awesome. What's your name? Ben. ben. All right, how about a round of applause for Ben for singing karaoke? For us. Cool, Ben. All right, Ben, we're going to have you come up uh, here in a bit, but first we need to build the karaoke machine. Now, a karaoke machine, any good karaoke machine, has four parts. What are those parts? Well, you have a microphone, right? And then you have a sound system. You have speakers, right? You have some kicking tunes, right? And then you have lyrics. All right, let's see if we can build all those things together from an uh, empty uh, file. So... Um, one of the awesome things about Heroku is that they just released uh, their Cedar Stack, if I may plug this service because I think it's amazing. Uh, their Cedar Stack, which they uh, released last year, uh, added support for a number of different languages, including the best language on the planet, which, as we all know, is Python. So we will build this uh, application in Python. We're going to use a very simple uh, web framework called Flask, uh, which is gaining popularity on Python. Uh, any Ruby guys in the crowd? It's exactly like Sinatra, only better. So we will, uh, from the uh, Twilio uh, Python module, we're also going to import a uh, uh, Twiml uh, um, uh, object creator. It's just going to make that XML that we're going to be generating uh, super simple. Then we're going to also import OS because we're going to need to get some environment variables to make all this stuff run later. We're going to uh, instantiate a uh, Flask app with the name of the script that's running. We're going to create a route, which we're going to call Mike. And then we're going to make that route accept a post request, which is the default for when Twilio makes a request to our app. So um, unfortunately, Ben, I don't think, brought a microphone with him. However, he does have a microphone in his pocket. So we're going to use his phone in order to serve as the uh, a microphone for this uh, karaoke machine. Now, in order to do that, we need to create a Twilio app. Uh, Twilio's uh, default uh, uh, method for uh, communicating with your web app is uh, over a post method, so that's what the uh, um, that's why we're restricting this particular endpoint to using uh, uh, the post HTTP method itself. So once we uh, have the decorator established, we can go ahead and write a function that will produce a Twiml response, and uh, we are going to use one of the verbs. Uh, that uh, kind of construct the basic functionality uh, for Twilio. So when you see Twiml, it's uh, really just a uh, handy phrase for a constrained XML schema that's very easy to create. And this constrained XML schema is built around primitives, which we call verbs. So you can make it say stuff with a robot voice, you can make it play some music, which we're uh, about to do, you can have it record a voicemail, you can have it grab the DTMF input, but in this particular case, we're gonna have it dial out to a conference, which we are going to call uh, ETE Karaoke Party Jam. <laughs> Boot! Nice. Now all we have to do is return that response object as a string, and we're done. The Twilio application is uh, built. 
So all we have to do next is add a little boilerplate for uh, the uh, Flask application to run, which we uh, are going to get a port, and we're going to ask um, uh, the Heroku Dino what they would like us to use the port, and if uh, they don't provide one, we're going to use 5000 uh, to indicate uh, if we're running it on our local environment to run it on uh, port 5000. We're going to set debug equals true because, hey, we're live coding and something could happen. And then we are going to tell it what host to run on, which we'll have it run on localhost on the port that we established earlier. Make sense? Cool. We save it. We add the file to uh, git. We commit it. And then we go ahead and push that up to Heroku. And then it's going to do some magical stuff. So while that is doing some magical stuff, we need to set up a couple things in our Twilio dashboard. So uh, here I'm logged into the Twilio dashboard. Uh, we can do uh, some fun stuff. Like first we need to create a, a new Twilio application. So the way that Twilio knows where your application lives is by uh, creating one in uh, this uh, interface. And we're gonna call this ETE Karaoke Jam. Oh, Party Jam. Fail. Indeed. Uh, and we have uh, two request URLs here. So as I mentioned before, uh, anytime uh, someone is calling or texting a uh, Twilio application, we make a request to your web application. The way that Twilio knows where your web application lives is through these two settings. So in this particular case, we're going to have it point to the uh, karaoke dyno that I have set up on Heroku and uh, have it point to the mic endpoint, which we just wrote. Does that kind of make sense? We save that guy, and we have a nice little string here, which we can use later. Next, we need to take that app and assign it to a phone number. So we go to the uh, phone number section. We uh, click buy a number, and we'll get a handy interface where we can get a phone number. Where are you from, Ben? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina? What town? What? Nags Head. All right, let's just uh, do North Carolina. <laughs> kind of use the force. So uh, Twilio has a huge inventory of numbers uh, which you can purchase. Uh, you can purchase phone numbers in uh, the United States, Canada, London, and uh, several uh, central, central and Western European countries. Uh, let's see, Elm City, cashiers. Which one looks good to you? Elm City, it does sound nice particularly this time of year. All right, we purchased the phone number and we can go ahead and set it up. We set up the application, have it point to uh, the karaoke uh, party jam app, save the changes, and we should be able to have some fun. So Ben, can you whip out your phone? You are whipping like crazy. And place a phone call to 252-627. Well, you're, you're confusing this, buddy. 252-627-9341. <laughs> and when you call, you should get some hold music because you're going to be holding for the party. Intense. You getting some music? You get a little uh, classical stuff going on? OK, awesome. So we got the mic. Woo, that's intense. So we got the mic, now we need to build the speaker. So to build the speaker, we're gonna use a uh, really, really fun product called uh, um, Twilio Client. So Twilio Client is a uh, neat API that makes it just a couple lines of JavaScript, turns your browser into a fully functioning phone. You can call real phone numbers, real phone numbers can call you, browsers can call each other, or you can use it as the speakers for a karaoke machine that you're building in Philadelphia. So, we need to pull something else in from the uh, Twilio Python module. So as you can imagine, when you have the capability of creating a telephone in your browser, and that browser is going, uh, and that web application is gonna be sitting on the internet, and that internet has places like 4chan on it, it can be really dangerous. So 
a security measure that we have in place uh, to uh, make sure that the phone can only do what you tell it to do is this concept of uh, capability tokens. So what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, util submodule in the Twilio Python module and grab a little object called Twilio Capability, which is going to be instrumental for us creating the speakers to our uh, karaoke machine. Next, we'll go ahead and create a new uh, endpoint, which we're going to call speaker. And this endpoint, we are going to uh, uh, create the capability token that I described by using uh, the class that we just imported. We're also going to ask uh, Heroku to give us some account credentials for Twilio, which include our account SID and our auth token. This works like the key and secret that you have uh, on um, AWS. And then we're going to tell that capability token that it is allowed, it's allowing the client to make an outgoing request to the app SID, which we uh, set up earlier. This app SID being the uh, unique identifier for the ETE karaoke party jam uh, application. And then we are going to turn that capability into a token. Then we are going to use Flask to render that out to a template uh, that I already set up so you don't have to put up with my uh, horrific design and pass it the token as a, uh, as a, um, as a uh, value that will uh, be rendered into the template. So save that guy, uh, commit it again, then push that up to Heroku and we should see some fun stuff. So uh, Twilio Client is a really neat product, and it's also available uh, for mobile. So we're in beta for Android and uh, uh, iOS. It's uh, working now. So a couple files and a couple lines of Objective-C, and it can turn uh, any uh, uh, iOS application into, uh, into Skype. Like, you can uh, uh, create some really, really crazy VoIP functionality, uh, not just within your web browser, but also your native mobile apps as well. Dude, compiled slug size is 4.2 megabytes. That's tight. Awesome. So it is up, which means if you dial in again and I go to speaker, now I am running off of my uh, little hockey puck here, so we'll see how well this works. Go ahead and talk. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty crazy, right? Okay, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. So we have the microphone. We have the speakers. Now what do we need? Kick Music, kick and tunes. That's right, kick and tunes. So we need to uh, create a new Twilio application to give us some uh, kick and tunes. Let's uh, see what we can do. Uh, We need to write tunes. This is going to be another Twilio application, so we're going to have it accept a post request. And then we're going to define the function as tunes, and we're going to use another response object. So as I mentioned before, uh, Twilio is all based on these uh, different verbs, these different primitives. We just showed you a dial. We had him dial into a conference. Now we need to have it do a play. We're going to have it point to uh, my apartment in Brooklyn, go to my music collection, and what do you, what do you want to sing? Ramones? Sounds great, because that's what I have. <laughs> awesome! And just like that, we're done. We will uh, commit that guy, and then push it up to Heroku, and then we need to do some additional uh, fun hacking. So, we have, a, uh, we have an application a new Twilio application that will just play the Ramones when you call into it. So now what we need to do is kind of hack this uh, application a bit by having a bot, a script, call into the number that we created and execute that Twilio app. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, load up our Python interactive interpreter again. We're going to grab our local settings, which is just going to pull in my account SID and my auth token, which I'm not going to share because this is going to be posted on the internet, and the internet has places like 4chan. Uh, from Twilio, we are going to uh, um, uh, import the Twilio REST client. Oh, I'm sorry. From Twilio REST, we're going to import the Twilio REST client. We're going to instantiate that client. 
with the account credentials that we pulled in from our local settings. And no, no, I'm not going to upgrade. <laughs> yes, declined. God, I don't want Unity. I don't want it. Like, ugh, leave me alone. Okay, next we, uh, so now that we have this client, we can do uh, some fun stuff like uh, have it call using my caller ID to the phone number that we purchased uh, earlier. Boop, I got it here. No, dude, we're just going to copy paste, man. That's the way we roll. Wouldn't be a live coding demo without some copy pasting. Uh, we're going to have it dial into that number, and then we're going to have it use as the uh, Twilio application the uh, app endpoint that we just created over here called Tunes. Cool. So if I dial in, and you dial in. Come on. Oh, are you in? All aboard. There we go. And and then we uh, place a call using our little hacky script here. Yeah, see, the really terrible thing about this is if I make a mistake, I hear your derisive laughter over and over and over and over. Oh, there we go. So now we have some tunes coming in, right? All right, awesome. That's cool. Okay, so we have the speaker. We have the uh, microphone. We have the tunes. What are we missing? Lyrics. That's right, lyrics. Okay, so... For this, we're going to have a little fun. Uh, Blitzkrieg, Bop, Ramones. I don't even know why I'm looking up the lyrics for this because like, the first five lines are, hey, ho, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But let's go ahead and uh, search the lyrics. Uh, anyway, we'll go to Google. We'll try to find a lyric site that doesn't have a advertising scheme taken from 1997. Oh, here come the nasty pop-ups, I'm sure. Elyricsworld.com. Send this to your phone. Oh, that would be a good feature, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be sick. I'm sure that's going to get you Dude, lot. stolen. I'm going to totally take that. Oh, come on, Elyricsworld. See, this is the problem when you don't use the cloud, folks. Like, you get horrible response times. Hey, ho, let's go. Okay, right on. So we'll take this, copy it, and then we will um, drop it into a text file here. Get rid of the empty lines. And since uh, this is a Ramon song, it's like, hey, ho. Okay, four times. One, two, three. And uh, we'll get off the tail end here. Save that guy. And then here we will define a new function called send lyrics. And uh, in this function, we will open the uh, text file that we just created. Uh, we will iterate through each line of that text file. And then we will use uh, Twilio to uh, send. that to your phone number, which is? Uh, well, internet, right? <laughs> that's true, that's true. OK, we'll have it sent to my phone. No, we'll have it sent to my phone. All, all my ex-girlfriends can uh, find it. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'll just expose my, my phone number instead. That's, that's wise. All right. Yeah, indeed. So we'll have it, uh, we'll have it uh, iterate through that file and send every line in that file as a text message. <laughs> uh, for the lyrics, that makes sense. So we got, the, uh, we got the microphone, we got the speaker, we got the tunes, and we have the uh, uh, lyrics. Let's see if we can put this all together and really make this uh, karaoke machine work. Sound like fun? All right, dial in. I'll dial in. Is 
Is it working? Did you press call? Yeah, 12, 13, 14 seconds. Okay, great. All right, we'll place the call to uh, kick on the tunes. Go, go, Twi Fi, make it work. <laughs> and then we'll send the lyrics. Oh, come on, ATT. Go, go. Oh, go. We're going to this on a piece of tin. Oh, here it goes. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, that is the Cloud Power Karaoke Machine. Thanks, guys. Awesome, awesome. Hey, how about a round of applause for Ben for helping us out today? Huh? That was really nice. Cool, we got a little uh, extra time. Does anybody have any questions? Everybody's like, <laughs> are you kidding me, Rob? <laughs> uh, is it legal to use your thing on the iOS market? Uh, is it legal? Like, are the Apple gonna police going to come to your house? The initial conversations that we've had uh, with Apple uh, have uh, not given us any indication that your app is going to be banned. Uh, and I think there are a couple apps that just got through the store uh, recently. I, I'm not sure what they are, but uh, no reason to believe that uh, you're going to be banned from the Apple store from using it. I'm sorry, for using Twilio Client, right. Yeah. It's pretty neat. There are a bunch of other voice apps on, uh, on the platform currently, so there's a, there's a lot of precedent for it. Uh, but, I mean, that said, who knows? They're Apple. Jesus. <laughs> Good question. Uh, anybody else? Did I do that good of a job? Awesome. All right, great, guys. Uh, the uh, slides and the code for this are available on my GitHub. Just go to github.com uh, forward slash Rob Spector. Uh, if you want to find out more about Heroku, go to heroku.com. If you want to find out more about Twilio, just come and talk to me so I can uh, pay the rent. And uh, thanks a lot very much for having me, Philadelphia. Really appreciate it.